What's up everybody, Ryan Suchit here and welcome back to the channel. Um, last week it seemed like a lot of people enjoyed the video I did about uh, location bid adjustments so I figured I'd dive a little bit deeper and talk about audiences and devices and how I look at adding those, excluding those and doing adjustments but I recommend you watch the uh, last week's video first um, because a lot of this is going to be uh, very similar in terms of how I think about the bid adjustment side. Anyways, let's dive in. So in the audience tab over here, um, what I'm kind of looking at is uh, here first, which is the audience segments. So first of all, a lot of you uh, probably aren't using this at all, um, and you should be. So when you're in a campaign, here, let me just go into an actual campaign here. So now I'm at the campaign tab. These are your um, audience segments. Okay, so what you could do, um, a lot of you are probably gonna have nothing here. So what you wanna do is you wanna go campaign, um, could you add group as well? And you wanna make sure it's at observation. So quickly, the difference is targeting means you're only gonna show ads to people who are in this audience, which I don't recommend uh, doing. That's more of an advanced thing that um, you only do in specific scenarios. Most of you, including me, are gonna be using observation like you know, 95 plus percent of the time. Uh, but yeah, targeting, they have to be in the audience. Observation just observes the data of people who are in that audience. And by adding them as an observation, you can still do bid adjustments based on who's in there, but it's not only showing to people in there, okay? Um, and what I basically do, uh, my computer's running super slow here, um, is at the start, um, they're gonna recommend some audiences for you, but I basically just add in all of them that I deem to be related to that business, okay? And it's gonna stick out, right? Um, but you can just go through all the audiences, you can add all of them in if you really want, or just add in the ones you feel are related to your business, okay? Um, and then they're gonna show up here. So once you have them in here, then the data is gonna be available, okay? So this is really what I wanted to talk to you guys about. Um, and similar to last week's video, a lot of you are either not doing this or you're doing too much of it, um, which is what I've noticed because overmanaging is real, okay? Um, so what I'm looking for is massive anomalies. So here I'm looking at the last 30 days, okay? But usually, like if I go all time, this is one of the first things I'll probably look at. And then I'm kind of, I'll sort by conversions and take a look there um, to see if like, if you notice, um, first of all, I wanna see what portion I'm actually seeing, right? Of the total, like total campaign, total segments. This is what you're actually seeing. Um, but then of course, a lot of them are gonna fall into other. Um, but then once you're in here, you wanna look at where the data is falling and then is there a huge anomaly? So like last week's video, the average here is looking like 20. Um, so even though, you know, this, these ones have the vast majority of conversions, they're coming in at the same cost for conversion. So I'm not noticing a huge anomaly there. The other thing I might do is the opposite. I might sort by cost and then I'm looking for something with low conversions, maybe zero, but a high cost or a very high cost per conversion. Cause then you can actually exclude these audiences, which basically means you're not going to show to ads to anyone who shows in the audience, but this happens very rarely. Okay. Um, but that's kind of what I'm looking at there. And then for the last 30 days, so this is just looking for the anomalies, right? But then let's say the only time I'm really looking at this, I do look at it pretty much every month for all my clients, but the big time I'm looking at this is when I'm strapped for budget. Okay. And I'm really trying to spend the money smart, um, is I'm kind of looking at last 30 days and then I'm doing the same thing, right? Sort by, uh, conversions. Is there anything really good in here? that I might want to do an increased bid adjustment. And to do that, you would do it over here. You can go plus. Okay. Um, so this one, so again, I look at the average, where are we coming in at? We're coming in at 16. Um, none of these are showing. Maybe this one um, is coming in seven conversions for $7. So that one's looking pretty good. Um, but then what I'm also doing is looking at the cost for conversion. So as you can see, having conversion data is really important for doing these bid adjustments. Uh, in my opinion, pretty much necessary. Um, and then I'm looking here, okay, what's really hurting me? So again, the average is about uh, 17, um, 16 for the segments we're seeing. 
um, and some of these are coming in at high. But this is where overmanaging can happen, okay? So let's just say things are going smoothly, right? You're spending the budget efficiently. Um, I'm gonna do less here, okay? Like right when you see this data, a lot of you might panic and just kind of say, oh, that's terrible, let's remove it, let's do a massive decrease bid adjustment, but you shouldn't really do that. Like what I normally do is I kind of take a look at them, I might highlight them, um, and then I'll kind of look at, okay, what happened the previous 30 days? Not that bad, right? So, but a lot of you, you're, you're kind of looking at this and you're making changes so uh, drastic, but it's just not enough statistically significant data, okay? And this overmanaging can really hurt you because then over time, you're making all these different bid adjustments and then you kind of, your data is all over the place and Google Ads is an auction system. It's changing all the time. So you need to look at more data and look for those anomalies. But if the if the month prior was you know very similar, it's gonna be hard for me to make any adjustment at all. Again, unless I'm really strapped for budget and then maybe it's not an anomaly, but for the past few months, it's been at least like maybe, uh, I don't know, twice as bad as the rest, um, something kind of like that. It really depends how strapped you are for budget. Then I might do a, a decreased bid adjustment and I might look at like 10, 15%, unless it's a huge anomaly, right? Like you're looking, you haven't looked at this data and all of a sudden you look at all time and then there's something that blatantly looks terrible. It never performs, then obviously take action. But the one thing I just want to stress to you guys is don't overmanage here. Look at more data, see what it's telling you um, and only really make changes when, again, things really stick out or you're kind of strapped for budget or you're not spending enough budget. Um, then you might want to do a pretty big increased bid adjustment on something that's looking decent to you. Okay, so those are kind of the things I'm looking at when it comes to the audiences. Um, when it comes to age, I'm usually, I'm a little more aggressive with age. I want to say I probably do more adjusting here. I'm going to look at the uh, campaign view here. And then again, I'm not going to go through the same process. I look at all time. I look for anomalies, that type of thing. Um, but the big thing with age you might want to look at is depending on your industry, if you fall into a, a policy like housing, um, a lot of the times you can't um, discriminate based on these. Um, so you can't like exclude and that type of thing. Same with postal code, I believe. So if ever you uh, drop impressions, that's one of the things to look at. Um, but yeah, with ages, you can do the same thing. Um, literally very similar to the audiences. They're already here for you. You don't need to add them in, um, but you can exclude here, which I do do a lot. I do exclude ages because I notice anomalies here a lot more than I do in the audiences. Okay. So like maybe like the 18 to 24 range or the 65 plus, um, those are ones I'm excluding fairly often. But again, I'm looking at all time data. I'm looking at it to really not perform or I'm doing, um, negative or increased bid adjustments there. Um, and then the next one is, uh, let's look at ad schedule. So what I might do here, I might actually do a full video on ad schedule. There's kind of a lot to talk about there. Um, so let's look at devices here. So devices is kind of the simpler one and I'm always doing bit adjustments here. Okay. Um, because it's, it's only three categories. A lot of the data is normally shown to us, which is really, really nice. Um, tablets, a lot of the times I'm excluding, um, again, when the data tells me to, uh, but then these ones, I'm just looking at, you know, last 30 days in this account, I think it's pretty stable. Um, yeah, they're, pr they're pretty similar in terms of cost per conversion. So I'm not going to do anything here. Um, but a lot of the times you will find anomalies here and you'll be playing with the mobile computer. But the big thing I wanted to stress here and a really big tip is how your conversions are, are set up. A lot of the times, um, some of you aren't um, setting up all conversion tracking. And the only thing you're tracking is like uh, the call extension conversion. So then you look at this data and you see mobiles performing way better than computers, but really it's, you're not tracking all conversions. So that's some of the things I found in audits, um, that has killed people because they'll either exclude it altogether or they'll do massive bit adjustments. So make sure you're tracking all conversions properly. Otherwise, of course, mobile is going to look much better than computer. Um, but yeah, I'm doing bit adjustments here all the time. Same thing we talked about before. Although for this one, a lot of the times, um, it's not necessarily the anomaly of all time. I am looking at past 30 days because we see all the data and I can do the increase, decrease bit adjustment, trying to get things uh, closer to the average, right? Um, and that's, again, like last week's video, it depends on how we're doing with the budget. 
if I'm not spending the budget and there's a lot more room, I'm going to be looking at increasing the one that's coming in uh, at the lower cost per conversion. Um, and similarly, if I'm strapped for budget, I'm going to look at the higher cost per conversion. I'm going to bring that one back. I might exclude one like tablets. Like I said, uh, that's kind of what I'm looking at um, for ad schedule. Um, same methodology, but there is more to talk about here. Uh, so maybe I'll do another video on that. If you guys are interested in that, please let me know in the comments and I will definitely do that. Anyways, guys, I hope this video helped. If it did, please make sure you're subscribed and have notifications turned on so you can find your way back. See you in the next video.